In this video, we will show you the universal database frontend of the Dashjoin local development platform. It allows you to connect to a SQL or NoSQL database, browse and search its contents. So let's get started. This is the configure database page. We have one sample database, the Northwinds um, database loaded already, um, which also shows up over here in, the, uh, in this tree view. So we can just select the database from here. Note that you can always collapse and expand this sidebar uh, using this um, toggle button over here. So here again, we see the, uh, the connection information, but we can also, by expanding this tree down here, look at all the tables. So let's go to the customers tables, for instance. So if you have a look at the, at the URL, you can see that the table in the database actually has a, a page, a home page in the system. And by default, it shows a visualization which shows a, a select star, um, of course, with the limit and offset um, of all the records in the table, um, and as well as a um, form which allows you to create a new instance of this table. Um, all of the keys, so primary keys and foreign keys, are um, highlighted or are shown as hyperlinks. So we can, for example, go to this um, customer over here. So now we are on an instance page. You can see that the URL changed to Northwind, so that's the name of the database. Customers, that's the name of the table. And then Anton, that's the uh, ID of this uh, instance. The default instance visualization, in turn, shows um, allows me to um, shows me a form that allows me to either delete or update the record, but it also shows me incoming and outgoing links. So I can go back to the customers table, um, but I, I can also go to the orders of the customer. Okay, so let's pick this guy for example. So now I'm I went from the customers table to the orders table. And again, I'm on the instance uh, here. And for example, here I can navigate to the employee ID, so the employee that's uh, in charge of processing this order. And from here, I can go to that employee's boss, for instance. Right. So you can see how we can navigate through um, uh, through the data set. Um, again, from here, I can go back to the employees table, um, which again shows this visualization. So you always have tables or collections, whatever they're called in the database you're using. Um, show this um, all instances and a create record as well as the instance pages like this one for instance showing a update and delete option as well as um, incoming and outgoing links of this record okay so far so good now let's create a new database so we go over to configure databases and let's say we have our products table over here and we would like to have another database with more detailed product descriptions. Okay, so let's hook up another SQL database. Let's call them products. Um, let's make it a SQLite database. Also called products.database. So we can connect to it. And um, after a reload, it shows up on the tree on the left here. And we can visit the page and then set up a table. Again, let's call it products. And by default, it sets up a table with um, an ID, a primary key, and the name. So let's um, enter a product uh, one and um, some test here and create this record. Okay, so now what I would like to do is I would like to, so I would like to create an additional column over here, which actually links to the product ID. And that's the product ID, which is of data type number. So let me create the column. And now I would like to define this as a foreign key reference. So let's edit this guy. And this should go to the north wind products table. And it should link to the product ID. Okay. So again, I need to reload once to make sure that the form change is picked up. And now on my record, I can um, enter the product ID here. So let me, um, you can see that it shows an autocomplete um, because we have the references. So let's use uh, product 60 here. 
and um, update this. And now you can see that this link shows up and I can see that this is actually um, some sort of um, camembert cheese here. So let's um, just Google for that and uh, find a nicer description here. Okay, so I'm on this Wikipedia page. Let me just copy some text here. Go back and update the data here, okay? So now, last thing that we want to do is we go back to the um, we go back to the actual products in the Northwind database and let us go to this um, camembert cheese here. And so now we, what I would like to do is to add a display widget to this display to show the contents of the related table. Okay, so we edit the layout. We can add another widget. Let's edit the widget and make it a display widget. Call it details description. And now here we have an expression. So we can use the traverse function. The traverse function requires, first of all, the identity of the, or the sort of the coordinates of the record we want to traverse. So that's, we can actually copy and paste that because these are variables which are defined in the current content. So uh, database would be Northwind, table would be um, products, and primary key one would be 60. And the foreign key we want to traverse is actually the name, so first of all it's DJ slash the name of the database, so that's products. And the table name is products. Okay, so I'm missing one S, the table name was actually also called products. Um, and here we go, so we followed along the incoming um, link, which actually was originating in another database, and uh, we got the record back. And in this case, I'm interested in the name. So let's filter this out using Chesonata, and we can OK and save the page. And down here, we have our detailed description now. Okay, so last thing we want to do is um, have a look at the search function. So we can um, do a full text search up here. So for instance, there's um, uh, an employee called Mr. Fuller. So let's see if we can find him. Um, so we can just enter some sort of free text up here in the field. And from here, we can navigate to the employee page in this case. Or let's see if the corporation is selling some tea. Let's have a look here. So there's some, um, um, there's actually, well, a partial match here in this uh, customer contact name. There's uh, T's over here in categories, products, and even suppliers. So you can see that all different tables are searched. Uh, for, for, for performance reasons, you can, if you have a very large database, you can exclude certain tables and databases from the search, but by default, uh, everything is uh, searched. So for smaller data sets, that's um, without any config. Um, that's a very um, that's a very useful feature. So this concludes the section on um, the Universal Database Browser. We saw how we can hook up an existing database, how tables and instances are being visualized, how we can create new deba databases, create new tables, create new columns, and even link those columns to columns in other databases and um, combine them on the GUI using JSONata. And last but not least, we had a look at the full text search. Hope you enjoyed this presentation and um, download the platform today. And we hope you have a lot of fun with it.